Right guys, now this session is talk about basic differentiation using the formulas, single single functions, not complicated, very simple problems, all right? So let's go ahead, simple differentiation. Let's say y is equal to x bar n, this is my first important formula to know, all right? And there are a couple of problems will be tricky into this. See how it works. Let's say uh, if I differentiate, I'll get dy by dx would be equal to n into x bar n minus one, that's the formula, very simple. How do I use this guy? <clears throat> let's say I have, uh, y is equal to x bar 6 and how do you differentiate this guy dy by dx is 6 into x bar 5 that's all about it or i can write 6 minus 1. this guy looks exactly like n instead of n i have a 6 so i'll write n into x bar n minus 1 that's all about it so that is 6 x bar 5. very simple <clears throat> right now what if my problem doesn't look like this let's say his y is equal to 1 by x bar 6 this guy is not looking like the formula i have now remember that in algebra, that is in terms of x, or whatever it is, right? You can only differentiate one function, that is x bar n. Otherwise, you can't. All right? If the function or the question is given to you in any other form, make it look like this. Then you can differentiate. So according to this, this guy doesn't look like my standard form. So what do I do? I have to first make it look like that. Can I put x bar 6 up? I'll become x bar minus 6. Can I differentiate this guy? Yes, possible goes like y is equal to, yeah, I can write x bar minus 6, now n is minus 6, so what happens, minus 6, x to the power minus 6 minus 1, that is minus 6 into x bar minus 7, minus 6 into x bar plus 7, that's my answer, dy by dx, alright, so I see that if at all any function is not looking like my general form, make it look like that, let's say another problem, take it as y is equal to root of x, or let's say, uh, cube root of x now this guy is definitely not looking like this because i need x to the power n that's it so can i convert this guy into indices form yes this can also be done as x to the power 1 by 3 now this guy is n n can be a full number it can be a negative number it can be a fraction whatever it is but n is a number all right a real number basically so can i write this as 1 by 3 into x power 1 by 3 minus 1 that's all about it now this guy looks like my standard form Right? So in this case, we understand that most simplest differentiation of y is equal to x bar n. If the question does not look like y is equal to x bar n, make it look like that. For example, this guy. Right? So this is the LCM here. I get what? 3 is the LCM is minus 2 by 3. So that is what it is. x bar minus 2 by 3. 1 by 3 to x bar minus 2 by 3. That's it. Alright? Let's continue with more simple problems. But remember one thing. That I can only differentiate something that looks like y is equal to x bar n. So let's take another problem. Let's say it is look, looking like like two by uh, fourth root of x bar six. Right now, this guy definitely does not look like my question. And one extra thing here is two. I don't know how to deal with this two, right? So let's add on another formula. Say it's like y is equal to x bar n. If there is any constant here, right, some k. What I do is I keep k outside. I only differentiate d by dx of x bar n. So it means if a number is connected with x, I'll just keep it outside like that and I differentiate this guy. Same formula, n into x bar n minus 1. That's it. This is dy by dx. If a number is connected with x. Let's take this guy. Let's take a more easier example here. Let's say 2 into x bar 8. All right. What do I do with this 2? I just keep it outside and differentiate x bar 8. That's it. So what happens now? All right, 2 is outside and that goes like 8 into x bar 8 minus 1 which looks exactly like my first form x bar n and the formula is this Where is it? Right. so can I multiply this with yes that becomes 16 x bar 7 any shortcut yep simple shortcut would be this if at all I have a, f a problem like y is equal to 2 into x bar 8 what I do is I multiply these two guys that is 16 and I write this guy 1 less than 8 that is 7 that's my answer that is a direct way of writing it but that's how it is uh, actually solved and that's a direct shortcut you can use this guys as if you're good in differentiation a little later you can use that let's go ahead anything else we need to know in this yes let's talk about more forms of y square x bar n let's say i have 2 divided by fourth root of x bar 5 now this guy does not look like that correct so let's make it look like that first of all I have a 2 that be outside, then I have 1 by 4th root of 
x power 5. So I don't understand the root thingy now. So what I do is I can write x power 5 to the power 1 by 4. I'm just writing the indices form. Whatever power is here would go here, right? So is it like this? And then I have 2 into I can write 1 by x to the power 5 by 4. Right? This is 5 by 4. 4. So now, is this looking like my question? Not yet. Why? Because I have y is equal to x power n. It is not in the denominator. It is in the numerator. So can I put this guy up again? So it goes like y is equal to 2 into x to the power minus 5 by 4. Now, this 2 is a number, so I keep it outside. So differentiate x power minus 5 by 4. That's all about it. So that is my dy by dx. Right, so dy by dx now can be given as 2 is outside. Differentiate this guy, let us take this guy to be looking like n. All right, so that goes like minus 5 by 4 in x to the power minus 5 by 4 minus 1. That's all about it. Solve this guy, I'll get the answer that is 2 into minus 5 by 4 in x to the power, take the LCM as 4, that is minus 5 minus 4, and that's what we have that is 2 you know 5 by minus 5 by 4 into x power minus 9 by 4 that's it can I cancel this yes minus 5 by 2 into x to the power minus 9 by 4 oh, that's the answer all right simple so now we learn in this video that y is equal to x power n a basic formula all right so any function for algebra basically any algebraic function can be differentiated only with this guy now if it doesn't look like this in following case we saw just make it look like that and that's it let's talk about one more example here before we finish this let's say I have a problem something looking like uh, let's say y is equal to x squared plus uh, 3x plus 6 okay, the whole thing divided by x bar 6 okay yeah well I do with this guy yeah. so I can I, I don't see this guy looking like this at all so I can't differentiate this what I can do is I can write x x squared by x power 6 yes plus 3x by x power 6 yes 6 by x power 6 I'm just splitting the denominator all of them now it looks something like that we'll see I can write this guy as x power 2 minus 6 plus 3 into x to the power 1 minus 6 I'm, I'm just using indices it says a power m divided by a power n is a power m minus n okay so what happens here plus 6 x power minus 6 now see what happens x power minus 4 yes plus 3 into x power minus 5 plus 6 into x power minus 6 now when I differentiate this dy by dx I can differentiate all of them individually all right using the same formula x power n see this looks like x power n so that goes like d by dx of x power minus 4 plus d by dx of 3x power minus 5 plus d by dx of 6x power minus 6. So individually I differentiate what do you get? I get minus 4 x power minus 4 minus 1. That's the difference of this guy, right? Plus this guy 3 into 5 minus 5 into x to the power minus 5 minus 1. What about this guy? 6 remains here. This goes like minus 6 into x power minus 6 minus 1. I'm just using the same formula in all the three cases individually. Alright? That's all about it. I can I can actually uh, write differentiation. Y is equal to u plus v. If there are two guys, dy by dx can be written as du by dx plus dv by dx. If there's a plus sign or a minus sign, I can differentiate every single term. That's all about it. Very simple deal. I hope you understand the basic differentiation of y is equal to x power n. Let's continue and see more difficult problems.